What's up, Diabetes family, and welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. Today, we're going to do a special drink. I like to call it the Bruce Banner. You feel me? So what I want you guys to do is I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And I'll see you on the other side. I'll let ya, boy. Welcome back, Diabetes family. It's 730 on a Friday, and the only thing I can think of is making a fresh juice so i'm going to break out my kuvings auto 10 you know the one i just bought a couple weeks ago and i'm super excited about now i know i stated this in several videos before but the reason i really like this juicer is it's so easy to assemble and take apart and clean and that's worth it all worth it to me now the juice that we're about to make i like to call it the bruce banner it gives you the strength of the Hulk and the smooth consistency of a Sunny D. Now with this recipe, you're gonna need five apples, two bushels of mint, two cups of spinach, five cucumbers peeled, And it's gonna be a really easy recipe because you're not gonna to have to do anything with the mint or the spinach. Everything's done with the spinach. I mean, you're gonna to have to wash it, of course. But we will need a nice sharp knife and a potato peeler. Now we're gonna be peeling these cucumbers and cutting the apple, and that's gonna be all the work that we're gonna be doing with this juice. Now make sure when you do get a peeler, make sure you get a really good peeler. Don't use the El Cheapo ones because it'll make your life miserable. Believe me, I've done it. And make sure we peel all the skin off of the cucumber. Now with the apple, you can get you know a regular apple cutter or you can just use your knife and just cut it into, into fours like so. Since this is going to be going into the juicer, what I like to do with the cucumbers is I like to cut them up into threes just to make the process easier. Now there is nothing better than to be juicing in the morning. The freshness from the cucumbers and the apple, it just makes the aroma in your kitchen smell amazing. You feel me. That's why I like juicing in the morning. It just just gets my motors running and gets me ready for the day. Now that the small prep is already done, it's time to get our juicer ready. What I like to do is put all the leafy greens in first. It just makes the process go a lot smoother. And then I put my bulky stuff on top and that makes everything pushed down and juice easier. So I start off with my mint, I start off with my spinach, and then a few handfuls of cucumber. I close the top and I get to juicing. Now that the hopper is halfway empty, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my juicer and add more ingredients. This time I'm going to add more cucumbers and a few handfuls of apple just to keep things balanced. And then I let the juicer do its thing. And of course, I'm gonna open up the spout, make sure that the midsection isn't too full and I'm just going to empty that out. Now look how beautiful those colors are inside the hopper. And these are the things that we need to start putting into our bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, juicing is very important to our health. 
And it is time that we all get serious about our health. So whether you have a juice or you don't, I would suggest you guys invest in one, even if it's a $60 one, $150 one, just make sure that you get started. That's the important part. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the colors again is just looking super green, super amazing, super rich. And like I said before, this is what we need to put in our bodies. After you drink this, I promise you, you will feel amazing. And it tastes really good. But we have to make sure that we mix everything up to make sure everything is nicely infused. So we have all the flavors mixed together. So that's why I get this big container. And later on, I'll get a bowl to mix everything together. Now, I want to ask you guys a question and please make sure you put a comment down. Are you brand new to juicing? Are you a vet at juicing? Are you just getting started or just curious about juicing? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested in finding out. Now that we have all the juice yield ready to go, we're going to dump it all inside this bowl. And like I said before, we're going to make sure that both containers are nicely infused. And the reason why I do this is because not everything is juiced at the same time or in the same cylinder. So I like to make sure once everything is done, we put it in a bigger container, mix everything up. So that way everything has, each jar has a nice balanced taste. Now this is just an extra step that you can do is you can just take the foam off of the top. This is what I do, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Now, all we have to do next is grab our our jars or our cups, and then we're going to fill our cups up. Now, this juice is going to yield about two full 32 ounce jars. And then on the third jar, it's gonna be about half of it. So so with the amount of, with the amount of ingredients that we had. This is the amount of juice that we get with it. Now, just if you're juicing with another juicer, it, the measurements may be a little bit different because each juicer is different, but roughly this is what you're gonna get with the amount of ingredients. Now, technically you can call this a bulk juicing session, but I mean, realistically, I can drink all three of these throughout the whole day and I'll be super straight. Usually it'll last me about maybe two days, but it's not as bulk juicing as I usually do. Now I like to fill each jar up to the top just to keep all the oxygen out and make sure it lasts a little bit longer. Usually typically it lasts about three days and then I'll screw the tops on super tight and put them in the refrigerator and let them chill you feed. But that third one, you know your boy's about to take it down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It is time for the taste test. It's been a while since I've done a taste test on camera, so your boy is ready. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I tasted this, it just felt so refreshing from the mint, the sweetness from the apple. I, it's just amazing. That's why I call it the Bruce Banner, baby. It's just super smooth and it makes you feel amazing. You feel me. But anyways, i like to take the time and thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time and watching my video. You could be anywhere in the world, but today you decided to be right here with me. And for that, I thank you. Make sure that you tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.